Now, I didn't buy everything. Some items was giving me 12 year old vibes. Nah, I passed. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Cosmic Gem. Today, we are going to be unboxing the spring and summer Bath and Body Works products. Now, as I said, I didn't buy all the products because some of the um, items I knew were maybe a little bit too immature for me, so I just not didn't even bother to buy them. Um, I opened the front a little bit to speed up the um, unboxing. Of, you know, even though I can't see in here, I didn't touch anything, but. It's open a little bit. Anywho, let's get into it. So we're going to pull everything out. So I'm gonna move the the cream, the body creams over. I don't really need to. We're just gonna go for the sprays and see what they're hitting on. And out of the the newer lines that just came out, I purchased two, four, six, eight. I have eight of the newer scents for uh, the spring and summer. So let's get into it. So the first one we're going to try is called Coco Paradise. Here, Coco Paradise. Uh, the scent notes is salted coconut, moni, sugared neroli, and bronze sandalwood. I got a feeling I'm going to like this one, but let my nose be the judge of that. I'm going to spray some on the car. Hmm. This just smells like a true coconut. I don't know about like all the other stuff that's in here. Like coconut is definitely in the uh, forefront of this uh, cocoa paradise. I like it. I'm going to spray it here on my left hand. This reminds me of like a coconut um, hair product. I can't think of what it was. That would smell good as well, but it's like something that I used to um, use that had coconut in it. I like it. So the Cocoa Paradise is definitely a keeper. So this one will be added to my collection. Uh, next up is Among the Clouds. Uh, sit notes in among the clouds is wild berry skies with vanilla cloud. Just two ingredients. Okay. That's not promising. Where's my cards? Uh, take another scent card. Among the clouds smells a little, oh, I have used to, um, this smells too generic to me. It smells just like um, a fruity vanilla. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep this one because um, it's kind of this one is kind of redundant. So I'm not really that big of a fan of Among the Clouds. So this is going to the return pop. Next up, we have. Bahama Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. Or just Bahamas. I don't know, but that's... <laughs> Let's see. And the scent notes in this one is um, Passion Fruit, Pineapple Leaves, and Banana Flowers. This is a pretty light scent. I like it, but it's definitely um, a light scent. Let me put it on my right hand. But I'm gonna keep this one. This sound. This would be like a safe summer scent. It's not too, you know, um, it's not too much. It's not offensive. It's really, really light. And it just smells like your typical summer scent. I don't have too many summer fragrances. I'm a big fan of gourmand fragrances. So I have a lot of like <laughs> scents for it for the winter and the fall. So like to have a um to add a nice um summer scent to my collection, I'm all for it. So the Bahama Passion Fruit Banana Flowers 
this is definitely going in the collection. So this is a keeper. Next up, we have coconut pineapple. I have all these lights going on. <laughs> Hope the uh, the label is getting in the, the you know the shot. Um, coconut pineapple. What's in here? Shaved coconuts, fresh pineapple, and cane sugar. Nothing on this card. Let's go for it. And now with this one, it says coconut pineapple, but I smell the pineapple more so than the coconut. Like the, the uh, Bahama passion fruit, banana flower, and the coconut pineapple, to me, with my nose, they smell very similar. They're very um, light. I mean, I don't like to have redundant scents in my collection. So I would maybe return one or the other. I may end up giving one of them away because they they smell very similar to me. So Golden Mango Lagoon. This is the one I was looking uh, most forward to. I am a fan of mango. I really don't have any scents with mango in it. So the Golden uh, Mango Lagoon is one of those scents that I was definitely um, looking forward to testing. Let's get into it. I'm hoping I love this one. Like, <laughs> I love mango. I like the scent of mango, but I don't really own anything mango. And I'm just hoping I love it. It would it would suck to have to return this one. It's okay. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I like it. I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. Let me see how it wears on the skin. I'm going to spray it here on my left wrist. I don't love, I, I wanted to love it. I just like it. It smells better on, on my, on the skin than on the card, but it's like not a uh, wowing. Um, oh, the scent notes in the golden mango lagoon is sunny mango, salt, salt water woods and coral blooms. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't love it. Love it. But I like it. I like it enough to keep it. It doesn't smell like anything in my collection. So I wouldn't feel like this is a redundant scent. And I definitely don't hate it. I like it. So this is going to be added to my collection. Um, the Golden Mango Lagoon is definitely a keeper. Next up, we have, oh, I don't want, should I do another pineapple? I know this is a lot of pineapple in these uh, <laughs> new summer, you know, spring scents i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a, a left i'm gonna do the jungle fresh rain jungle fresh rain and the scent notes in the jungle fresh rain is uh rain kiss palms amazon dragon fruit and misty breeze so let's get into it see what this uh fresh jungle rain is about I'm liking it already from the, from me fanning the card. <laughs> like, I don't know, like all of these summer, I guess summer scents are supposed to be light, but they're like coming across really light scents. I like the jungle rain. I have not found the love yet out of, you know, this is the fifth, six, sixth scent that I've tried so far. There's nothing that I love yet. I'm going to try the um the fresh jump rain on my right wrist. Like I haven't found a, a like a absolute love yet. It's either I like it or, I, or I'm not really a fan. And the only thing I haven't really been a fan of is Among the Cloud. It's kind of redundant and kind of immature to me. Yes, yeah, still a like, not a love. But I like it enough to add it to my collection. So Fresh Jungle Rain is going into my collection. I like it. Hmm. Pretty good. 
Uh, I'm going to save this last uh, pink pineapple sunrise because I did so, so many uh, pineapple um, scents. I want to give the pineapple a rest for a minute. So we have Fiji Sunrise. Sunkissed Guava, Fresh Orange, and Seaside Jasmine. I love jasmine, so it's anything with jasmine in it. Sounds like a good deal to me. Do I have any room? <laughs> like, where am I going to, if I want to try it on skin? Oh, the orange is definitely coming through. The orange and the guava. I'm not, I'm not really getting a hint of the jasmine. But this one, this uh, Fiji Sunrise, this one here is not a light scent. So what I can say about this one, opposed to the other ones, this one packs a punch. And I'm, I'm going to put it up top because I think I, y'all spray it down here. I'm going to try the Fiji Sunrise up here. This one's definitely, the Fiji Sunrise is definitely staying. Yeah, I really like this one. This is almost a love. <laughs> not a love, but I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And it's not a light scent whatsoever. This this orange and this guava combination is, is sexy. Like, I really like this one. I like it a lot. I like this one the best out of all the scents that I've tried so far. That's uh, Fiji Sunrise. We're going to give her three and a half stars. <laughs> and last but not least, or maybe least, I don't know, is Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Uh, let me make sure it's in the shot. Uh, the scent notes in pink, pink pineapple sunrise is sweet, pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun drenched nectar. This seems this is probably another redundant scent, but we'll 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 give her a try. See what she all about. Pink pineapple sunrise. Now, this one is a little heavier than the other. Um, how many pineapple scents? The Bahama and the, the Golden Pineapple. So I'm going to bring these two back up to, as a refresher. This one, to me, the Pink Pineapple Sunrise is a little more bolder than the other two. Like the pineapple uh, is coming through more to me, in my opinion. Let me see what it smells like on the skin. I'm going to put it on my right top wrist. You know, everything everything um, translates different on the skin than on the car, obviously, you know. So um, I definitely prefer the uh, pineapple sunrise out of the, the three... Uh, pineapple um scents that um that's came out recently this to me seems to be the boldest and you know it's not as light as the other ones so i'm definitely a fan of this more so so i'm going to keep this one in my collection for sure these two i may give away as gifts because my collection is pretty large like i don't need you know 60 of the same scents so i'm definitely you know prepared to like give um, some a way to like family members or friends because they're not bad scents. They're just kind of redundant. I have the one pineapple. I don't need three um, pineapple forward um, fragrances. So out of the eight uh, new scents that I purchased, the one that I will be returning is Among the Clouds. It's a little childish to me. And you know, I don't really need it in my collection. It's kind of redundant. I have a lot of berry scents. I have a lot of vanilla scents. I have a lot of berry and vanilla scents. And at least on me, to my nose, and to, you know, on my body chemistry. So I'm going to keep these, these seven, and two of them, more than likely, one or both are going to be given away as gifts because they're kind of, you know, they smell similar to me. My nose on my body, they smell similar. And I don't need a bunch of redundant um, fragrances in my collection. So that is it. That is all. Thank you so much for tuning in to Cosmic Gems. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.